Eureka! The story so far. The word volume comes from the Greek for envelope and refers to how much space an object envelops. The word density comes from the Greek for compact and refers to the amount of mass that is compacted in a given volume. And now, buoyancy. Are you strong enough to pull up that anchor? Haul away then. While the anchor's in the water, you can just manage to lift it. But once it's out of the water, it seems to weigh quite a lot more. It's as if the anchor had lost weight while it was in the water. As if there were someone under the surface trying to push it up. But mermaids only exist in our imagination. So what's going on here? Well, drop the anchor into the ocean again, and we'll see that, as a matter of fact, it's the water itself which is pushing up on the anchor. But since the anchor is denser than water, the force of gravity pulling it down is greater than the force of the water pushing it up. So, it sinks to the bottom. On the other hand, when you jump in after the anchor, since you are less dense than water, the force of gravity pulling you down is smaller than the force of the water pushing you up. So you rise to the surface. But if we consider something which has the same density as water, that fish, for example, we see that it can stay floating right where it is neither sinking to the bottom nor rising to the surface because the force of gravity pulling it down and the force of the water pushing it up balance each other exactly. All this is common everyday experience and is in fact a law of nature. Let's see how it works. Here are three cubes, one of metal, one of cork and one of plastic. They all three have exactly the same volume. But the metal cube weighs 10 newtons and is denser than water, whereas the cork cube weighs one newton and is less dense than water. And the plastic cube weighs two newtons and has exactly the same density as water. Now here are three water jugs, each full to the brim, and each with a newton balance beside it. Imagine that we can cast a magic spell on each cube and make it sit still in the middle of each water jug. In order to make room for itself, each of the cubes has to push aside or displace its own volume of water. So the water overflows. And since all the cubes have the same volume, they all displace the same volume of water. So that these volumes equal these volumes. Now notice how much the displaced water weighs. Two newtons in each case. And here's where the law of nature we mentioned comes in. When an object is immersed in a liquid, the weight of liquid it displaces is equal to the force which is pushing up on that object. So there's a force of two newtons pushing on each of the three cubes. But remember that the metal cube is being pulled down by a force of gravity of ten newtons, the cork cube by one newton, and the plastic cube by two newtons. This is why if we remove the magic spell that's holding the cubes in the middle of the water, the metal cube will sink. The cork cube will rise to the surface. And the plastic cube will stay floating right where it is. Since things which float in the sea to help sailors navigate are called buoys, this law of nature is called the principle of buoyancy. Objects immersed in a liquid are buoyed up by a force equal to the weight of the liquid displaced. It's buoyancy which stops that boat of yours from sinking. Provided, of course, that you watch out for the boys put there to warn you about the dangerous reefs. Ooh. Oh.